that is how our roof looked after going solar in Thailand part 2 day 2 wow welcome to discovery garden Patea. my name is Hans Fritschi and this is Rolf Eschbacher the engineer that is building my solar system how did it go today on day 2 Day two was not quite as expected because I forgot something. What well, things can happen. We will be here again tomorrow to finish the six last panels on the other side of this roof. Here we see strings one and two, three and four, and five and six are on the other side. And they will be connected to the inverters we have seen in a previous video. Everybody. Same as yesterday. Same as yesterday. We don't want any heroes. Somebody cannot go on the roof. Stay down here. Um, remember Pimali, right? they don't remember, it was leaking very bad in one location. If we break a tile, don't hide it under the panels. Say it, we can fix it. If we have to fix it later, we have to remove panels. And, and it's much more complicated and we have a damage on the ceiling. That's how the plan looks. The workers brought up the, some uh, metal rails to the roof uh, that would later lead as a foundation for the solar panels. These rails were also anchored in the metal construction of the roof underneath. The idea of engineer Rolf Eschbacher was to bring up the panels as far as high as the roof as possible because if there are trees growing besides there will be no shadow or less shadow. Some work was conducted on the safe ground. And more work was conducted on the roof. I mean, these workers are really uh, incredible. They are like uh, artists uh, balancing on that steep roof of mine. I wouldn't want to go up there at any price. And you can be sure it is very hot up there, very hot. On the left hand side of the roof you can see these four rails are ready and installed to take the panels later, on the other side not yet. This is the third side of the roof where these uh, rails are being installed, I mean the sun wanders. On this side there is a lot of morning sun and on the other side there is more uh, mi midday sun and evening sun. The panels are moved to the start of the elevator that was built yesterday to the roof. Uh, uh, how heavy is such a panel? 
ở đó ở đó bên này thì thay dọn sáng rồi đó Looks very good, huh? Mm -hmm. Nein, ich weiß, das, das muss man ja Klimaanlagen und Pumpen, da braucht man sehr viel Strom. Vor allem Klimaanlagen und Pumpen brauchen ganz viel Strom. Pumpen nicht, das müsstest du wissen als Pumpenfachmann, ja, oder? Ja, sehr viel Strom. Ja. Er ist ein, ein Pumpenfan, oder? Ja. Er will immer meine Pumpe flicken, obwohl sie gar nicht kaputt ist. Brauchst du einen Stift? Ja. Ein Lehrling. Ein Stift ist ein Lehrling. Einer, der lehrt etwas. Ein Beruf lehrt, oder? Ich würde schon den Lehnen verrückt machen. Das wäre mir doch der Ersatz nicht. Das ist doch richtig auf die Tür. Da kommt der Meister zu Hause hin. Aber eigentlich auch ist ja... Wieso denn nicht... Ich bin ein Freund, ich bin ein Freund, ich bin ein Freund.
we had uh, quite some reactions to the video we made uh, yesterday and there was a question by a reader what happens with the energy that is not used during the day or not uh, saved in the batteries is it lost this energy is lost this energy is not even produced um, the inverters will only produce as long as there is a load and if there is no load and surplus energy from the sun it is not produced engineer rolf eschbacher also brought a drone with him and here we can see some images on his uh, display and uh, it's always fascinating to work with drones this is the child in the man that comes up and uh, fascinating really great fun we are ready for take off This is a cassava field right uh, beside our house and uh, they just planted it here and here you can see the solar panels were, that were fully installed, uh, uh, 12 on the left, uh, on the right 12 solar, solar panels as well. and. Uh, they look really uh, nice, don't they? And uh, for me, is a sign of hope. Just uh, producing energy by, mm, if you want to say it that way, I'm a Swiss and uh, we have a lot of cows. It's uh, like milking the sun and uh, it's free after the installation costs are paid for every day you can harvest uh, free energy that is renewable that doesn't pollute it's uh, these really they are black these panels not very beautiful but for me a sign of hope Oh, what a day! You know, I'm really exhausted, and I just watched those people go on that roof. And I can tell you, this is terribly hot up there. And wow, uh, oh, even though we didn't reach our goal, we will have another uh, show tomorrow. And uh, if you liked what you saw today, Please join the Hans Ritchie channel on YouTube or Hans Ritchie friends on Facebook and see you again, again tomorrow for episode 3 going solar in Thailand. Ah!